Throughout history, many notable people would come to this temple to ask questions to the god Amun, where the oracle priest would answer on behalf of the god. This is where one of history's most powerful men once visited. I'm literally walking in the same footsteps as Alexander the Great. Up these steps, I'm going to take you in the Amun Temple where Alexander received his message from the Oracle. However, what happened in these hallowed halls remains somewhat of a mystery still. So this is where Alexander would have walked into, coming here, right in the center would be a statue of Amun-Ra, and Alexander would have spoken to Amun, asked him whatever questions took place, we're not exactly sure, and Amun spoke back to him. When Amun spoke back to him, he said, Alexander, Alexandros, you are my son. And this legitimized Alexander's claim to becoming a pharaoh. Alexander would have left. As he left, he swept away his footprints. He was given a broom from one of the priests. He swept away his footprints and left the room. This is one version of the story. Now, there is a debate happening as, as to exactly how the oracle gave him this message. The oracle is, of course, a high priest that would probably take a hallucinogenic and see these visions and speak as the voice of the god. The voice would come either from above or from below. We're not exactly sure on which one of these theories is correct. In this room... I believe we would have had the statue of Amun. It makes sense. All Egyptian temples show the god in the central room. And above, there is a ledge and a window. And I believe it is that window where the oracle would have sat and spoken down. And Alexander would have heard that voice, believing it to be the voice of Amun himself. We have this little passage on the side here where... It's blocked off now, but long ago, there's a staircase going up to that exact window that I spoke about now, where I believe the oracle would sit and speak down as the voice of Amun. This is the one that I like to believe. This is where the oracle was in the version of the story I like. There's another version where they believe in this room, in the third room, down here is a well with an entrance from the outside. Because on the other side of this wall, it is a steep cliff on the mountain. The oracle or the high priest would come in through this doorway, go into the well, and speak up as the voice of Amun. And in this room, we have the area where the sound could come through, like a well... And through the hole here in the ground, there's, you can see the sunlight coming through. That would connect and the sound could come through. And it's believed that over here would have stood in one of the versions, the statue of Amun, and the oracle's voice would come out from here. So there is a debate going around as to exactly which room this took place in. I prefer the central room as it makes more sense with Egyptian beliefs. A third theory, which is a combination of both, which is Alexander came into this room. There was already a carved window here. The oracle went up the stairs and spoke through that window, which is more likely because we have the Temple of Horus where we have the window above which has the oracle speaking from above. So that makes more sense than a well. Alexander would have come and stood exactly on this block that I'm standing on now and looked through this hole and spoke to Amun through the hole. 
and he would not be able to see the oracle sitting above, it's blocked off, thus creating the illusion that it is the statue of Amun speaking. And he could speak to Amun through here, because only the high priest and a pharaoh was allowed to go into the main sanctuary. And Alexander would speak to Amun through here, and this is where he received his message, on this block, standing here speaking to the god. So we're not exactly sure which version of the story to believe. I prefer the first one where Alexander was allowed right in front of the priest. But all three of these stories are plausible.